New Zealand, New Hampshire, and this is a FoodWorks video. FoodWorks is a program where we share healthy eating tips um, along with our partner, Hannaford Supermarkets. Um, so today we're going to show you a fun fall themed snack that you can make. Um, we're going to show you how to make English muffin pizzas that are jack-o-lanterns. Um, so this is what they look like when they're all done. Um, we're going to create little faces on our English muffin pizzas and then you just toast them in a toaster oven and it's a quick easy snack that kids tend to enjoy. Um, it's also something where kids can take part in making them and choose their own toppings. Um, if you have a family where not everyone likes the same toppings, it's a good way to have everyone individually make their own food um, so that it can all be cooked at the same time and everyone can have what they like. Um, so to make these, you need English muffins. We are using the multi-grain kind. Um, you can choose to do toppings like peppers or onions or pepperoni. Um, and then the type of cheese that I'm using is a mild cheddar that comes in slices. And the reason I'm using sliced cheese for pizza is so that we can make the jack-o'-lanterns. If you want to make these a different way, you can use shredded cheese. It's probably much quicker and easier to do. Um, but this is just sort of a fun fall themed uh, way to do it. So we're going to use some pizza sauce and just put those on our English muffins and spread it around. You don't need much, but you can do this to your preference. If you want more or less, that's fine. And then a really good trick for making the cheese into a circle um, is to use a glass or sometimes a lid or something will work too. I found this one that worked perfectly and it made it the right size. Um, so you just set the glass down on the cheese and press it down. You might need to twist a little bit to really get it through, but you should end up with a circle. And then if you have a little extra cheese and you have any helpers that are helping you make these, your helpers can eat these extra pieces or you can use them to add features to your jack-o'-lantern. Um, this also creates an English muffin pizza with a lot of cheese on it. So if you don't like a lot of cheese, you might want to do this differently. If you like a lot of sauce, you could even use the cheese just to make the features and add it that way and do a sprinkle of um, shredded cheese to make the rest of it sort of filled out. So now you have your cheese that's going to go on top. And if you want, kids can help with this part by using a toothpick to draw where they want the features cut out. You do need to use a knife for cutting these out. So it may be helpful to have a grown up do that, but it works really well to just take the toothpick and maybe draw the shapes that you want to do. So I'm going to do some triangles for the eyes and maybe a little triangle nose and we can do an easy mouth. <laughs> and that came right out with the toothpick. If it doesn't work that well, you can use a knife, especially for these more um, smaller pieces. You may need a knife to actually cut out the shape you want. Take those out. And then you can use some toppings to add features or you can use the toppings to make your features. Um, so we can use maybe a pepper to do a little stem on top. Um, or you could add some ears with a pepper. So we're gonna lay this on top of the pizza. And then we can put the stem. And then you're done. So all you really need to do after that is put it in the toaster oven and toast it um, for a few minutes until the cheese is melted. You don't need to do it for too long, um, but if you can get it so that your English muffin is a little bit toasted too, these taste really good. Um, so this one we made using all peppers to make the face and the other ones we just cut into the, the shapes into the cheese. Um, and if you try this and you find it's too much cheese for your preferences, you can use um, a different type of cheese. You can use the shredded cheese and just add features using um, peppers or pepperoni or anything you like. 
Um, so thank you for joining us. And we'd like to also say thank you to Hannaford for sponsoring our Food Works program.